All right, let me show you a little bit how I do this web quest to work. This isn't the usual web quest where you're just kind of wandering around answering certain questions and picking whatever you find. What you're actually going to be doing is going through and taking a look at some of the more common, more useful websites that are out there about mythology. So that not just when we do the activities for the next few weeks of communications, but actually so that as you have need to look up things later on, you have some ideas of where you can go. So you're going to be visiting several websites. And for each website you visit, you're going to answer four general questions. First, what kinds of media does the website offer? Media in the sense of mediums, plural. Uh, we talked about that in different parts of the, the school year already. Is it a video? Is it a text article? Is it a blog? Is it a podcast? Yeah, it's the medium. How is, how is the information shared? What kind of things are available there? Two, about which cultures or geographic locations does the website provide mythological details? Meaning, kind of where and who is it giving this about? Three, uh, which kinds of mythological beings does the website offer information? It's really important to know because if you're going to look up information just on beasts and creatures, you might look somewhere other than where you might look if you, if you want to find gods and goddesses and heroes. So what kind of information is there? And four, what kinds of myths do I think this website shares? So there's a table I'm going to show you here in a moment that's on the document. And I'll actually I'll do one for you if you're willing to take that and use that to your advantage. I'm not going to have it marked up on the actual assignment. So you can take that from the video screencast and actually use it to fill in the first one for yourself. So when you fill in the, the table, you're going to, as you browse the websites, you're not actually reading it because I'm not asking you to find any particular information. That's where it's more of a web quest where I'm not saying, go here, find this one answer and type it in. So you can type things in the cells if you want. You can choose to highlight terms in the cells or you can delete terms from, from each cell. Whatever it is when you're done, you want to be able to know, I can find this kind of information at this website. The part that most people who are going to totally blow by and miss is, in fact, this part here where it talks about how you're encouraged to collaborate with one or more peers on the assignment. I'm not expecting you to spend all the time it would take to go through and find all the websites yourself. You certainly can, and those who are really decisive, it won't take you very long. But if you're looking for an opportunity to work with a partner with a classmate, you can do that. Um, you're welcome to reach out to them by email and say, I'll do this website, you do that website. Um, you're welcome to take your document, make a copy of it, and share with the classmates so that you can get the information together. That's fine. Just know that you're going to have to look things up on some of these websites as the unit goes on. I do recommend that you don't simply give away everything you've got and don't ask for everything somebody else has. Do one website, one part of it, and then go ahead and share with somebody else. The other thing, an important note, is a disclaimer. Uh, let's be honest. You're looking up things about mythology and folklore and legends and even fairy tales, and you can find some pretty interesting, some pretty cool, and some pretty weird stuff online. So if it looks wonky, if it's something that, that makes you nervous or things like, my mom would be pretty upset if she saw me looking at this, get out of there. Even then, a lot of things that are considered classical art aren't necessarily school appropriate. The kind of things that we laugh and giggle at if I missed what put up on the screen in the classroom. So I have to understand that when you're looking at classical art, it may not look like the kind of things that you would see, for example, um, in a children's book. So it can be, shall we say, varying degrees of clothing, or it could be violent stuff. Um, for what you're doing here, because it's a quest, because it's something that you're doing to choose, and you're picking and choosing and browsing, you don't have to spend any more time there if you want. If you see things you don't like, don't go back to that website. Don't use it. I'm giving you several options so you can pick it. All right. So the first part here, we're going to click on this um, link to the Ancient Origins website, um, and we'll go from there in a moment. All right. So the first thing you click through to a lot of these websites, it's going to ask you for notifications. Make sure you say no thanks to that. It's going to ask you to sign up for things or possibly pay for something. Definitely say no thanks or just close the window for any of those other things that pop up. A lot of these websites, there's going to be a, quite a few ads. You're going to have to ignore some of those and get to it. You shouldn't need to log in, shouldn't need to register, but there are some pretty cool things here. So again, we're looking at the Ancient Origins website. So first thing I'm looking for is the media that are present. I'm looking to see is it text articles, pictures, video? Is there sound only like podcasts or recordings? Are there slides or slideshows? Are there links to other places? So I'm already seeing articles. 
I'm seeing pictures or paintings of artwork of some type. Lots and lots and lots and lots of ads. I'm going to kind of see what I've got. We've got most red type things. Um, we've got maps, looks like. Of course, there's premium content. Not surprising. There's free ebooks. I'm sure they're free with the information given away. Interesting feature like that here is where it's got news stories, origins, places. So it's definitely origins. I can go back to that and say it's definitely going to include origins. Mentions that. So I saw text articles and pictures. I'm going to choose to highlight things. You can choose to delete things if they're not there. I think it's easier to highlight what is there. Maybe I should have had maps or graphics on there. That might have been useful to add. So maybe I'll add that in. I click on some of these links. I wonder if I'll see. Looks like it's all reading. So I don't see it at my first glance. I don't see any other websites or our link. I don't see links necessarily to other, other websites. I don't see any videos. So I'm going to head back to where I was. My document here and for now. I'm going to go ahead and delete these other terms. For cultures, look at the website again, web features, just like we did when we did text features. I see Europe, Asia, the Americas, Australia, and Africa. So I wonder if I go to Europe, is that going to break things down more? Trojan horse, Atlas, we get some Greek things there. Germany, Arthur, that's going to be more Great Britain. Odin is Norse. Okay. So if I look at that, Australia is a separate set. Didn't have that one there before. Americas. I can check out that one and say, okay. Um, talks about giants, ancient fertility goddesses, so that's plural. Um, talks about beasts. That's another thing here. Inca. So I definitely have that. Aztlan for the Aztec civilization. So we've got some several things there. So we have Latin America as well as things for the United States and Devil's Lake in Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. So it looks like if we have, for sure I saw, if it's Asia, I saw those things. Um, I saw those as well. And I might not, I might leave those things and not highlight it because maybe they're there, I just didn't see them, but I didn't find those yet. I know we already saw beasts monsters and gods and goddesses I saw that as well hmm so this one happens to talk about places maybe I put that on there as, a, as another feature that it talks about scroll through Animals, mythological creatures. So, does it matter if you find everything on here? No, absolutely not. But in terms of some of these things, we can go ahead and go back to the home page. So we have the Trojan horse and Troy, so that's going to be historical. We already mentioned origin stuff, so we can go ahead and include that. Cult, Zagad, opinions, origins of Easter, so cultural uh, events. Um, so we have myths and stories of spirit doubles. So we can kind of decide from here, saying, okay, well, I think there's something cross Hercules. That's definitely going to be demigods and heroes. Cool. And if you don't find all of it, like I said, it doesn't really matter. 
just know that when you keep going on the next ones I gave you, Encyclopedia Mythica, God Checker, Theoi Greek Mythology, and Ancient History Encyclopedia, there's four things there. I would like you to get three of them, three out of the four. I gave you one X bonus on top of it, but three out of the four. If you want to do one and work with one or more partners, that'd be awesome. Love for you to do that. Um, then a lot of folks are starting to feel a little isolated. So do your best with this. Let me know if you need help. Just highlight things on there or delete things or cross things out that you don't see present. Whatever you need to do and then turn it in. This is a web quest, so don't worry about having to cite the information. It's just finding out what's there. And if you can, try to have fun with it.